Welcome to Final Render Subscription Drop 1. In this feature video, we will talk about adaptive sampling. Before we do so, let's have a look at the scene first. It's a pretty simple setup, one Omnilight, a camera and a few objects. We kept the scene simple so that we can see what's going on with adaptive sampling when it's rendering. Let's have a look at the render dialog. Iterations is set to 10,000, which is a high value for this scene, and adaptive sampling threshold is 0.05. We'll start the rendering and we'll activate in our frame buffer the samples buffer. This will show us how the adaptive sampling works. The red hot areas are areas considered to be noisy in this rendering. The darker blue areas are considered with less noise. So in dark blue areas, there will be no calculation happening and in these hot areas, calculation will happen. So pixels will be skipped and pixels will be calculated. This is the idea behind the adaptive sampling. So you can keep your pass amount very high, like in this sample, 10,000, and it will get faster and faster as it cools down the areas in the picture, which means it has to calculate less and less for each pass. And when all these areas have cooled down, there will be no, not much calculations left and the passes will just run through very fast. All these calculations are considering the unbiased aspect of our renderer. So everything is and stays fully unbiased rendering. So you get a physically accurate result, even with adaptive sampling. Now we've set the uh, adaptive threshold to a very high value. So it will be much, much faster uh, detecting that areas are not noisy and the image will cool down much faster, resulting in a much faster rendering. And you can see the result when we go back to the samples. Now the image is pretty cool, only a few hot spots left. And our samples are just running through this image right now. And that's the core functionality. And you can add this on top of all of your renderings. Just keep in mind the adaptive sampling threshold is the most powerful and important feature you have here. We do recommend to keep it as low as possible. So usually we suggest keep it at the 0.01 range. And when we have the 0.01 range, you will see it takes a little bit longer until the image cools down, but it will catch all the noise and the image will still be calculated faster than without adaptive sampling. However, if you don't like this uh, thing, you want the full deal, you can still turn off the adaptive sampling by just setting the threshold to zero and then there will be no adaptive sampling and your whole image will stay uh, red hot and every pixel will be calculated every time. So that's about it. Keep in mind, keep your values between the 0.01 and 0.05 ranges. That gives you good results. Check out our other feature videos for drop one. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.